welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is our blessed life and today is another day in the life. So we do, today's Thursday, November 19th, so one week before Thanksgiving. We do have therapy today. Sophie has a makeup speech therapy session this morning at 11. Right now it is almost nine o'clock. It's like 8.50 and I'm getting ready to make some breakfast. I'm gonna make French toast this morning. Katie's still in the shower. Gary's getting ready to leave to go to Columbia. So we're just trying to go ahead and get breakfast together so everybody can start their day and do the things that they need to do this morning. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning. I can't wait to have both of you. You have things want to do. I know, we're gonna brush her here in just a second. Look at Sophie's long hair. She usually has it in a ponytail. So long, we need to brush it though. Sophie just got dressed. You sleepy? Tired. Are you tired? Yeah. Yeah. Now, so last night I made my spaghetti sauce overnight. I've been doing that. I just set it to cook for eight hours overnight. So it's done. Go ahead and unplug that. What kind of button? Press the on button. You know which one says on? Okay. Press the first one and the second one. You got it. Now press the second one. Turn on the garland. One. Number two, on. Yay, you did it. These are all the things I use to make French toast. It's a lot of stuff, but it's not super hard to do. So you need um, some salt, some nutmeg, and some cinnamon, some vanilla, some honey, some powdered sugar as a topping if your people want that. Um, some brown sugar, some eggs, some heavy whipping cream, and then you need some bread. We like to use the brioche bread, so that's what I'm going to be using today for the French toast. But I'm sure at this point I've been making it so long that I'm sure I've kind of changed it up a little bit from the original recipe because that's what I always end up doing for whatever reason. <laughs> so, But I will link the original recipe so you can see the way it was originally done.
she's finishing up the last little bit of her school. She's doing the handwriting in her reading book. Happy reading here. Yeah. So Sophie does good with forming her letters, but we're still struggling with trying to stay on the line. So that's what yeah. we're working on. Right, Sophie? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so at this point, Katie's done with her school. She did not have a lot to do today. Sometimes she has short weeks because her math lessons and calculus, um, a lot of times they don't have five lessons for the whole week. They'll have like three, and then a lot of kids will spread them out over multiple days, but Katie doesn't find herself really needing to do that. So she doesn't have to do as many days. But I thought I would show y'all what the outside, um, what our backyard looks like now. So yesterday they came, I'm looking for my slippers. I don't know where they are. I think Katie cleaned them up for me. Katie, you take my slippers. They're in, they're in your bedroom. <laughs> She's cleaned up the house and she took my slippers. I gotta get my slippers on my feet. All right. All right I'm gonna show you outside. Um, yesterday, they came and um, I took out the tree stumps. I'm gonna go ahead and insert some footage of that right here. So they got the trees down earlier and there's two stumps that are being grinded. One of them has already been done. He operates uh, some type of remote control on this machine that's grinding the stump. It was weird watching him like back it up it was got a little like handheld controlling device um almost like a toy or something but So this is what it looks like right now once they took out all these stumps so the magnolia was here the two real tall ones were there then they came and kind of smoothed it over but it's a uh, gonna be a muddy mess until they start doing the excavation now but we still need them to come and do the um, prep work which is like moving the irrigation um, and I think they're also going to be moving, like, I think they're going to be moving those bushes. They're going to be moving a lot of these bushes, too, um, that are down here. And um, they're just going to move them off site and, like, care for them until they can be put back in. They're not going to be going back in right here. Actually, all of these are going to be moving. Um, and then they're going to be repositioned on the property. So that's what's coming next. Today was our last day of therapy before Thanksgiving. So it's Thursday, the Thursday before Thanksgiving today. And then uh, we don't have any therapy next week. So Sophie gets a week off from therapy. And then we start back the first week of December after Thanksgiving um, with her speech and OT. So Sophie's currently not in PT. We have to figure that out. But um, so since she can't do PT over Zoom, we have not had her in PT since probably March and we need we're gonna have to find a place down here and then also figure out the situation with COVID and all that um, so right now we're just sort of pausing that but um, it is something we probably need to at some point get her back into so we are getting ready to leave we have a few errands to run um, so we're getting ready to get ourselves together to go and do that all right, so we are in Bluffton. Um, we went to Rack Room Shoes at the outlets and tried to get Katie some shoes that she's been trying to get. Mm -hmm. And that has been a mess because yeah. she tried to order them online. For whatever reason, it wouldn't take her card. So, um, And I tried it on three different devices four different times. Yeah, so for whatever reason, the app or the website does not want her to buy these shoes. So it said that they had them in Bluffton, but they did not. Anyway, we're trying to figure out how to get that to work out. Um, so we're at Target. We're going to go make a return here.
and wiped out. Target and I honestly it is almost five o'clock I don't think we have time to get a Home Depot and get the piece of wood so I think I'll probably try to do that another day and go home and get supper going now but I got a lot accomplished at Target we will talk about that later all right all right we made it back from Bluffton I'm gonna go ahead and put some supper together I'm just gonna do some steak quesadillas with some guacamole so I'll just show you how I put that together real quick all right, so I'm going to use probably about four avocados. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right I'm gonna add in some onion. You can use red onion. A lot of people use red onion for this, but that definitely makes it a lot stronger and my people prefer a Vidalia onion instead, so that's what I use. Let's put enough onion. All right, now I'm gonna add the tomatoes. I chopped up one Roma tomato. I'm gonna do two teaspoons of minced garlic. Before I sleep. I'm gonna do three tablespoons of cilantro, and I don't have any fresh cilantro, but I'm using this stuff, and it usually turns out okay. I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of sea salt, and then I'm gonna squeeze a lime in there, and the um, guacamole will be done. It just needs to kind of sit in the refrigerator for a little while to kind of, for the ingredients to combine. So along with the guacamole, I'm going to do some steak quesadillas and I'm going to do that with just some sauteed onions and red bell peppers. My girls do not like green bell peppers, so I always substitute red. So I'm just going to saute those. I'm going to cook up a couple of steaks and um, just two small steaks is enough for what I'm doing and um, kind of cut those into small pieces. And I'm using some burrito um, tortilla shells that I'm going to do the quesadillas in. Right, here's supper guacamole with steak quesadillas or steak quesadillas with guacamole depending on which one you like best friends we'd love to pray for you if we can pray for you let us know in the comments below i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye Stay.